all right, reseller friends, you need to watch me now because I'm not going to be here for forever. You know why? Because I'm going to retire in 10 years. So I know that's crazy. <laughs> I'm 41, but I am going to retire in 10 years when I'm 51. And that's it. No more working. And if I can do it sooner, I will. I am going to talk to you today about reselling to retirement. This is a little bit of a weird video for me, but I feel really passionate about making sure that as a reseller, you have a retirement plan. And I wanna share with you mine, cause it's a little unconventional and you might be inspired by it if you don't know about the things I'm going to tell you about today. So let's dive in. Download your free reseller resource guide today. I constantly update and share with you discounts, favorites, tools, and resources to help you with your reselling business. After the video, click the link in the description and get your totally free guide today. If I could help you retire early, it would be my absolute honor. A few years ago, I don't know when it was, I found out about the FIRE movement. It stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. And when I found out about it, I was like befuddled, transformed, hooked, whatever. And I went down the rabbit hole of learning all I could. And now that's kind of like one of the communities, one of the niches that I actually spend a lot of time in, not as a content creator, but as a content consumer. I've learned a lot. I've read a lot of books. I've watched a lot of videos. And I now have really transformed the finances for myself and my husband and our family to be able to support the idea that at 51 in 10 years from now that I will retire and in 10 years from now my husband will be 55 and we will not be working anymore <laughs> and we will be finished and it will be great. So I want to share with you a little bit about that, um, what we're doing, what, what it is and how we're doing it and what we plan to do when we're retired so that you might ask questions and I can share more information with you about it or that you might embark on this journey for yourself, for your family, you, your husband, your spouse, whatever, to see if this is something that is right for you too. Because I think that retiring when you're so old, <laughs> so old, is rough on some people. And you know, people's health are not good these days and you can come down with all kinds of terrible illnesses and stuff that really ruin like your health span when you're older. So if you can retire younger and enjoy some of those healthy years, that would be great. I'm also on a longevity kick. I also really try to extend my health span and my lifespan. So maybe that'll be a separate video because I want to enjoy my retirement when I get there. But let me just talk to you a little bit about what our plan is. So as I said, I'm 41. My husband is 45. We've been on this journey for a few years. So we probably started it about five years ago because it was like around a 15 year journey at that point. And so we're about five years in and we are very well on track to, you know, hit what we need to hit, which I'll talk about in a second. And so at that point, our son Gio will be uh, graduating high school. So that's a good time because he's graduating high school. Who knows where he's going to go off to college or if he's going to go off to college or if college is going to be taught by the robots by then, like who knows what's happening. But at some point he's going to leave the nest or we're going to kick his butt out at 18. And so it will just be me and my husband and we can just keep on working or we can then retire. And so our plan is that when I am 51 and he is 55, we will retire and stop working and we will live on the money that we've saved and some other things. So that is part of the fire movement is retiring earlier than normal retirement age and living off of what you have put away for your retirement. So usually what people do, and if you do any research into the FIRE movement, they talk about the 4% rule. So that means taking what do you think you need to live on? So let's say you think you need to live on $50,000 a year in retirement, let's just say. So if you live on $50,000 in retirement, you need to multiply that by 25, that gets you to 1,250,000. That's how much you need, that's your fire number, that's how much you need to retire. Because every year in retirement, you are gonna take 4% out of your retirement savings in some sort of portfolio that you have it, some sort of stocks, wherever, and you're gonna take out 4% and that's what you're gonna live on. So if I take out 4% of 1,250,000, that's $50,000 and that's what I live on. And then that 
portfolio is going to be there. And then if I take out 4% again, I'm going to live on that for the next year. And so based on all of these, I'm, I'm not going to tell you all the things. If you want to learn more, you need to do your research into the FIRE movement. But when you have this FIRE number available and you keep taking 4%, that pot of money is supposed to live in perpetuity for you because it's going to get gains and then you're going to take some and then it's going to get gains and you're going to take some. And so you can do more research into that if you are really interested in the nitty gritty of it. But so I just tell you just to give you like a brief thing. So we have a fire number based on what expenses do we want to live on in retirement. We have a number that we want to live on per year in retirement. Then we multiplied that by 25. That is our fire number. It's a big number because <laughs> we want to travel and do things, but we're well on our way to saving that money and we will have it saved in this next 10 year span. And so it's an amazing feeling to hit little milestones as you go to say, okay, we've gotten this amount saved. We're 20% to our goal. We're 50% to our goal, whatever. And so we have our date, we have our number, and we're just working toward that. And so my reselling fits into that because my husband pays most of our bills with his salary. I pay a lot of the extras, things for our son, all the baseball, the activities, all the presents for the birthday parties we go to and all that little stuff. And then I take, because I don't have a traditional job, right? I'm self-employed. I take the bulk of my money and shove it, <laughs> shove it, shove it, shove it into our investments, into my retirement account, your IRA, and then also into an investing account. And so all of my money is going in there. And I just want to put this idea out there because we look a lot of times for the arbitrage as resellers, right? So you say, if I can take $3 and buy something at the thrift store and turn that into $20, and then I take that $20 and turn that into $100, we understand that. We understand arbitrage and flipping from a low value into a higher value. And when you do that, and then you take that money and you put some of that money into, you know, stocks, dividend stocks, you know, different investment vehicles that you would want to do, because I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money and investments. You have to make those decisions yourself. But we put a lot of our money into growth stocks or dividend yield stocks and really more funds. So it's diversified, not an individual stock. Then that money is returning to me all the time. So I like SCHD, that is one of the stocks that I have. It's a high yield dividend paying stock. So when I buy a share of SCHD, I'm getting three plus whatever percent in dividends all the time. The more of those I rack up, the more dividends I'm going to make throughout the year just for having that stock being held. So I'm taking the $3, flipping it into 20, and then taking 10 of that 20, let's say, and putting it into a dividend stock that's gonna keep paying me over time passively. And so that's a really beautiful relationship when you see the power of it in your reselling business of going from three to 20 to 100 to whatever, and then you can siphon off some of that money and put it into a passive vehicle that makes you money for the future and you see that snowball because now that stock when it issues me a dividend it's getting reinvested back in buying me more of that stock to yield more dividend to get reinvested and so that's growing at the same time as my reselling profits are growing and they're feeding well they're not really feeding each other but the reselling is feeding the investing and that's how we're able to hit our number so i'm going to tell you a little bit more but it's this beautiful thing where I hope the point of this video is to inspire you to be intentional with the money that you bring in in your reselling business. And I'm not saying you're like wasting it or anything. I think many of you are using it to pay off debt. I think many of you are using it to pay your bills. I think many of you are using it to support your family or to pay for your vacation or pay down your mortgage or whatever. And that is great and that is noble, but I also want to inspire you to look outside of that box to see if you are taking care and protecting your retirement and that you are funding that so that you will have one someday. Because I would hate to see all the people that watch me now when we're in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, 60s, I think I have, you know, a more mature audience. So probably the 20 year olds aren't watching me as much as the 50 and 60 year olds love you guys. 
if you're not protecting that retirement uh, and, and funding it and putting for it, it's not going to be there for you. And what's going to happen to you when you are really finished and can't resell anymore? So, you know, you may not retire early. I'm going to retire early. We're on track for that. That may not be what you want to do or that may not be what you can do. But I hope that you do it anyway. And so this video really is to say, like, we need to be thinking about our retirement as resellers. And this is my story and what I'm doing, and I'm gonna share a little bit more with you. I want to make you aware of the hottest, the best deal I have ever offered in my Rebecca the Reseller Academy. To find it, all you have to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you will find this right here. Hot deal, best value, all courses and digital downloads for life. This is it, friends. This is as good as it's going to get. I'm giving you everything I have in my academy, all the digital downloads, all the courses for just $20. The best part is if I create a new digital download going forward, you will get it absolutely free. This is the time to lock in the best deal I have ever offered. All you have to do is go to Rebecca the Reseller Academy, scroll down to Hot Deal, and purchase it for $20. If you're wondering what comes in this, it's everything. So you're going to get all of my courses and you're also going to get all of the digital downloads that I've created, including my keywords list, my listing forms, my Poshmark closet signs, everything that I have created and everything that I ever will create will be yours for literally 20 bucks. One, I'd love to know what your story is, so let me know down below, but two, you need to be thinking about this and you need to be protecting your retirement. You need to prepare for that you will not be able to work for forever and do this. And so you need to prepare. So what I am going to do, just real quick because I skipped over this note, is I'm going to add all of the retirement resources that I consult, so books that I've read and YouTube channels that I watch. I'm going to add a little section in my free reseller resource guide. So if you've downloaded it in the past and haven't checked on it in a while, I'm going to put those resources in there so that if you are interested in more information about this topic, just go to that free reseller resource guide and it will all be in there for you. So that's gonna be in there. So how are we doing this? First of all, we save a ridiculous amount of our money. I kind of already mentioned that. My husband you know, fully funds all of his stuff and then I sock away as much as I possibly can out of my reselling money that I make and that I pay myself and I put it into retirement. We put it in our traditional Roth and investment accounts. So again, I'm not gonna, I'm not your financial planner. I don't wanna get involved in that. I'm not qualified for that. You need to do your own research on what are the right accounts for you and all of that. But you need to put it somewhere so that it can be working for you. We do primarily focus on dividend stocks. We do have some growth stocks, but we do primarily focus on dividend paying funds. So like I said, SCHD, SWTSX, there's a lot of different funds out there that I'm researching so that we can diversify even more. But having a fund is a collection of stocks. So you're not just in Apple, you're not just in Google, you're not just in, you know, PSENG or whatever. It's like the energy company from when I lived in New Jersey. I don't know why that popped in my head. So like, it's not like you're in one stock, you're in a fund and it self-regulates and self-diversifies. So that's a really good thing. Then I track our investments, I track our net worth, I track what are we spending. So I don't do a lot, but I do track. I have a spreadsheet that tracks what is our goal that we're trying to get to, what is our fire number that we need to retire early, and how far along are we, and all of our accounts, how much is in each of that. And it's an easy, you know, we, we get together once a month, my husband and I, and we have a financial date, and we just talk about all this stuff, update our tracker, and see what our progress is. We also, like I said, we're gonna hit our fire number in 10 years, and there are three parts that I learned in a book. It's called Quit Like a Millionaire. It's one of the books that I'm gonna recommend in the Reseller Resource Guide. It's a great book. I have listened, listened to it, and I have read it, you know, physical. It's a great book. And it basically tells you exactly what to do. And so part of the things that, that we set up is you have a cash cushion. So you save like two or three years of living expenses right before you're ready to retire. So you have cash available in case, let's say the market's down, you don't wanna take your money out of your stocks, you can dip into this cash cushion. Then you have a yield shield, which is basically instead of 
selling your stocks to get the money to live on in retirement, you have so many dividend paying stocks that you live off the dividends. And so for us, if we wanted to, let's say, have $50,000 to live on in dividends, we would need, which is, this is not our exact number, but I will do it. We need 1666666 dollars <laughs> that's like <laughs> crazy, to give you $50,000 a year in dividends, which is completely passive money. You don't need to sell the stock. The stock stays there. It just pays you the dividends. And if you want all of them to add up to 50 grand to live on, you need 1.6 million in those accounts, in those stocks, so that it will generate you $50,000 a year. But then you never have to sell anything. They just stay there for forever and you keep living off the 50,000. So you don't need all of that. But the yield shield principle basically just says you should have that available to you so that in case things are crazy, you don't want to be selling all these stocks. Maybe you get 20 or 30 grand from just dividends, right? Okay, then you have your fire number, which is the total number that you need. So whatever you want to live on times 25, that's your fire number. That's your goal that you're trying to save across all of your monies. And then you want to have like, maybe a side hustle, right? Like for me, I like doing some work to make money. I Maybe I would keep my Rebecca the Reseller channel. I said in the beginning, I'm gonna quit, you know? Like maybe I'd keep my reselling channel and I'd sell five things a month and I would make videos about it and you know, that would be it or who knows. But I also have that lottery channel I told you guys about where I scratch lottery tickets. That's the perfect retirement side hustle. And that's why I started it now so that I could build that channel up little by little. And when I am retired, I could still buy lottery tickets, scratch them on YouTube and make a couple hundred dollars a month from that. And it's fun. And who knows if you win the lottery, right? So for me, having a couple of retirement friendly side hustles is probably what I'm going to do. Like I want to be completely retired, but I also am like, what am I gonna do with myself? Which I'm gonna get to in a second. So I like having the idea of the lottery channel or some other kind of similar thing where it is a money making thing, but with no pressure, no stress, it's just a little thing and it's fun and it's something I would do anyway. So I think that's the perfect retirement side hustle. Posture VA is a tax deductible business investment that pays for itself many times over each month. It increases Poshmark sales because it shares and sends offers more than I ever could manually. It handles all my shares, automatic offer to likers, bulk offers, and it can do price drops and relists. When my coaching clients add Posture VA, it makes more sales basically immediately. The best part is that you get your time back. More time with family, thrifting, whatever. Get 20% off with code Rebecca the Reseller and the link below. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was just like, what are we gonna do with this early retirement? What can you do with this early retirement? Because you're gonna still be young. I'm only gonna be 51. So my son, if this all happens according to plan, because obviously anything can happen, but he's gonna graduate high school, he's gonna go off to college, and my husband and I will retire. Now what? We're in our 50s and our son is 18. Well, he's not having kids by then, hopefully. He's not married by then, hopefully. Hopefully he has some young single time where he doesn't want us around. So that's when we're gonna travel like crazy. We're gonna go on cruises. We're here in Orlando. We can easily get to multiple cruise ports without having to take flights. So we're gonna cruise. We're gonna travel for one to three months at a time. We're gonna pare down our, our home so maybe we don't even have a home. Maybe th there's no home base or maybe it's just a small apartment somewhere that doesn't cost a lot of money so that we can keep our expenses low while we're off traveling. We're going to volunteer. I have lots of volunteer opportunities that I do now on a small scale that I could do on a larger scale, which would be lovely. Also, I like to craft and I don't really have a lot of time to do that now. So it's nice to be able to like do crafty things. I do my hand painted rocks, I do my crayons and I sell them, but I could do that more if I didn't have to resell and make videos and really work. I could do a lot more of that, share that. Like I, over the summer, I made a bunch of crayons and coloring sheets and I donated them to the children's hospital. Like. I love doing things like that where 
I make, I do, I something, you know, I do something and then I give or I help with it and that I'm very passionate about that. And so I would love to do more of that in retirement. And then, like I said, having some kind of like hobby, money making, no pressure, little side hustle. So whether my husband and I make a travel YouTube channel or I do the lottery, you know, channel in retirement, some, some little something that like doesn't make a lot of money, but it makes a little bit of money and it's fun and I, I enjoy doing it just to kind of give you like a project, right? Because you don't want to just like retire and then wither away and die. So you want to have like something keeping you going. So I think that that would be our initial part of retirement. And then as my son gets older, gets a little more serious about a career in a certain place or starts a family, that kind of thing, and he's putting down his roots, then that's when my husband and I will start re-putting down our roots to be near him. And then we see how that goes, right? Like if he has kids, we're going to want to be around with the grandkids and then we'll travel, you know, we'll still travel, but it will be less less big chunks of time, right? Maybe that's when we'll do more cruises because we'll be older at that point. It's cruising is an easier thing to do than trekking it all over China or whatever. But this is like a dream slash I see it actually happening and actually playing out. And I really wanted to share that with you guys. I don't normally talk about this kind of stuff, but I'm just getting to the point where I can only tell you so many ways to increase your reselling money, right? Like I can only tell you so many ways to do better on Poshmark, but I really could help you in your life and make an impact with you if I shared with you something that you didn't know that could impact the rest of your life, which is that you can find a way to retire. You may be able to find a way to retire early and that you can use reselling to fuel all of it. And that's what I'm doing. My reselling is taking $3 and turning it into 20, taking 20 and turning it into 100, and then taking that 100, siphoning off 50 and putting it into a dividend paying stock. And that's going to help me stop working in 10 years when I am very young still and can travel and see the world and contribute to the world in like a really positive way. And I'm super excited about it. And I, I'm actually putting this out here so that when it happens in 10 years, I can refer back to this video and be like, see, I told you and I did it. And that's going to be extremely exciting too. So this is part documentation, part wanted to really just share this idea with you. Let me know in the comments below, like, do you know about the fire movement? Do you pay attention to it? Do you watch the videos that I watch? Maybe we already are on the same page. I have no idea. But I, again, I will share all the resources in that free res reseller resource guide. I'd love to hear from you guys your experience with this. Do you know about it? Do you not know about it? Do you want more videos about it? Yeah, I just wanted to kind of go out on a limb here with this one. So I can't wait to hear your feedback. I wish you guys all the best. And I hope that you have gotten inspired to resell to retirement and you join, you know, early retirement journey with me. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye.